My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. And this is the <laughs> Weekly Dom. Restart. Hey, Jim, I'm good. How are you? Better than you. It's mm. mm. <laughs> a nice thing to say to someone. <laughs> Better than you. And how about them sports? Jim, we're going to baseball. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Ten. Pretty good. I like it a whole bunch. Basic. Jim Orlando Arcia, who had a very interesting week at at a boy, Harper, cool shirts. And then it was kind of this weird moment of the Braves were trying to do like nice guys. Like, hey, you know, we we weren't trying to talk shit. Like this kind of got out in the media. And then Arcia, the guy in the middle of it's on the top step. I didn't want him to hear. Uh, He's full blown. He's saying, I got, we got a ring already. Lilo and Stitch on him. As they're losing Uh, this year. He's like, well, we won a couple years ago though. Hey man, blur that out. Your hand looks hurt. My knuckles are really swollen from the arthritis. Turn everything gray for a second. <laughs> In the clip, Acuna is like turning him around. Like, hey, dude, stop. And Acuna is kind of known as not like the guy right. that's going to be like the leader. He's telling- normally fuel on the fire. They can't go out there and the night before be like, well, no one was supposed to hear integrity of the clubhouse. We're, we're, there was just for us. And then the next day, RC is making faces and going like, ha ha, I got a ring as you lose. Like, okay, well, I don't, that wasn't just for you. And for Ronald, you know, he's decide kinda, what to be and go be it. He's the star player on the team. He's the MVP. He's going to have to wear the loss more than Arcia, who's arguably the weakest spot in their lineup. Boom, roasted. <laughs> And that pin. Yes. What was this almost a breakdown you're telling Zach about? Oh, I have two here. Do you want the uh, stupid one or the uh, terrible one? Better than you. No call. Zach, do you want it to be mean to someone or or kind of interested in someone? I feel like the mean one. The mean one? Zach. Well, this coach, absolutely disgrace of a coach, charged mm. the umpire full speed. My best guess is that the umpire made a really bad call because at the end of the video, the woman's like, that was not a strike. That was not a strike. As soon as he calls it a strike, the third base coach and this 14-year-old baseball starts sprinting full speed. Luckily, the switch from grass to dirt mm. just got him. Like he could not, he didn't have cleats on, I guess. He couldn't figure out the different terrain uh, and he just slips and eats shit. The umpire is running away from him. So now what were you going to do if you didn't slip? And also you slipped and now you're made a fool of yourself. And also you're such a loser. Yes. You're such a loser and, and it's sad for your son, I'm guessing, who's on that team. I think he came out of it. Before he got to the umpire and kind of welcomed the slip. Like, I think there was a moment of like, oh, wait, I'm still, I'm charging this umpire. Yeah, yeah. I think he kind of took a fall. I was, what do I do when I get there? otherwise it was the worst attempt. What do I do when I get there? He didn't <laughs> yeah. know. I just fall. I think he thought more anger would kick in and then he's like, oh shit, real life. Maybe like he, he planned on just getting in his face, but he realized he didn't slow down. Like you, your first three Ooh. steps can be that fast. Then you have to kind of break it down into a jog. To get face to face. Isn't that crazy? Whole thing's crazy. The More Sports brought to you by DraftKings. Jake, the More Sports brought to us by DraftKings. James Panthers punter. Johnny Hecker, 321, 6.2, got a personal foul for headbutting Dolphins linebacker Cameron Good. Pretty good. Cam uh, good. When there was a little bit of acting by Cameron Good. I just like the ref falls over and then he's like, oh, I've fallen over. Austin Powers like, oh, oops, I've fallen over. And he's there table there. topping over him. Hecker, his quotes are good because he's like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But the dude just pushes him, which is like part of the play and then probably talks shit. And then he, he pushes him back and it looks bad. Then he headbutts him. He does headbutt him. He says that they didn't even make contact. There's another angle. They made contact. Part of the job of a special teamer when you're when you have like six plays a game is if you can piss someone off so much to get a personal foul against them, that's part of your job. Oh, yeah. So they're cheap shot artists. Good job by good. <laughs> this hug's kinda unrelated, but it's a sad hug. It's an interesting hug. So that's a lot for Zach to work with. Zach, it hasn't been the most organized show. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, what was this story that Zach sent you that you want to talk about? Oh, I got a story that's going to P-U-O. Piss you off. We'll bleep that. There's a bunch of scientists out there 
just watching frog rip. sorry on re replay i know it's a sensitive word but for real female frogs fake their deaths to avoid having sex there was a study published by the royal society of open science and they used video footage to observe the mating behaviors of common frogs when one male and two females were placed in a box so a bunch of scientists getting paid by some people just watched they just put frogs in a box and got their popcorn out and their notepad and just wrote down what happened. 54 females clasp in an embrace. 33% played dead or in scientific terms experience tonic immobility. Mm. Why are we studying this? And listen to this at the end, which you're going to love. The researchers noted that future studies should have larger sample sizes and more males. So these dudes are like, we need to run this back. We haven't watched frog sex in weeks. And quite frankly, we're getting antsy. Can I say something? Yeah, say something. This pees me out. <laughs> I knew it would. And it's really only the last sentence. You don't get to run this again. There's some stuff going on here that I can buy into. Sure, I don't want to mate with you. I'm going to possum it up. You know, that's a little science term. I don't know if these freaks figured out. Uh, tonic immobility. If we were going to run this study again, uh, we would do it differently so then this is useless <laughs> oh thanks <laughs> if we were going to do it again we would totally do it this way oh then you gave us nothing you're just a bunch of frog creeps just frog creeps it's the employee of the week it's you the employee of the week it's the employee of goal. the week goes to dre our floorball my eye my eye our floorball series is out dre edited all of our pregame, postgame shows. Got them all done. Quantity 12. Some funny moments in those. Some funny moments in those videos, Jake. Name one. We do one. I don't think it's out yet from up in the, uh, on the scissor lift. And we're yeah. just shit talking my brother like the whole time. You're going to have to tune in to see. Good job, Dre. Congrats, Dre. That was the Weekly Dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Demo is brought to you by DraftKings. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DUMB. Bet just $5 on any wager and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DUMB. D-U-M-B. Stands for Dumb Ugly Mail Boys. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. They go back to their whoever granted them the money. Uh, next, we're going to do uh, gerbils. Thank uh, you. Todd's been desperate to see if the gerbils, uh, you know, what they do when they fuck. Imagine. What's the end game? There's no reason for this study. What's the end game? There's just a room of scientists watching frogs fuck. Honestly. What's the solution?